So you could tell here the hole I've dug is obviously bigger than the roots that I'm going to plant. And before I even put this in the soil, before I put this peach tree in the soil, remember you want to rake up the edges here. Because you see how this is hard here? This is a hard pan formed by the shovel or any heavy machinery you're going to use to plant your peaches. So you want to make sure that you get a nice rake, something to break up this hard pan, okay? It's not good to have in the hole because as the roots grow, when they hit that hard pan, instead of breaking through it, they're going to grow around in a circle and we don't want that, okay? So you can see here, I'm going to put this in, mindful that this graft union here, I want this two to four inches above the soil. And if I put this in here, we could tell that's not the case. It's a little bit below, but that's good. Because now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the sod and some of these roots that I dug out from the top of the soil, and I'm going to place this down in the hole. And the reason I'm doing that is because these roots here, these roots have a lot of earthworms in them. You see right here? which is good for my peach tree, and also it has a lot of mycorrhizae fungi. And why is mycorrhizae fungi important? Because this forms a symbiotic relationship with the plant roots, okay? And this little fungi is so small, you see? It's much smaller than the roots, so it has the ability to take up 10 times more nutrients, such as phosphorus, and such as nitrogen and things like water, okay? And it helps to keep phosphorus that it absorbs in the soluble state so that the plant can then take it up, okay, as food. And this is very important that we have mycorrhizae fungi. And you can furthermore add mycorrhizae fungi by putting a little bit of compost in your, in your, in your, in your hole here, okay? But not too much of it, all right? Just a little bit like that. And voila, I guarantee I have mycorrhizae fungi in my hole down here. Okay, let's see if this lines up or if we're gonna have to add more soil. Oh, add some more soil. And if you look at my soil here, I have two different types. This redder stuff here is clay. This comes from the bottom of the hole. And I'm gonna take that clay out and put it aside. And I'm gonna try not to fill it back in with the clay because the clay it holds a lot more water inside of its inside of its molecules and also it's harder for the roots to grow through this clay so I'm gonna fill it back in here with some of the looser soil that I got from the top and while I was digging too I removed the rocks as you can see I have a rock pile over here okay so now we're gonna check this yeah that looks good to me and if you notice the majority of my roots here are on the prevailing wind side. Most of my prevailing winds come from the northwest. That's where a lot of the storms are going to blow, especially in the winter time. And then, so then, by having the majority of my roots on the prevailing wind side, now that provides an extra anchorage. And also, at the top, if you want, you could add something heavy like a rock on the prevailing wind side to add more anchorage. And this looks pretty good to me. Yep. This graft line, remember, we want it two to four inches above the soil. That looks good. So now, we're gonna start filling this baby back in. And if you notice, I don't put any fertilizer. And why is that the case? Some people say, well, some people say you should add a little bit of phosphorus bone meal in here. Some people say you shouldn't add any at all. But why, if I add fertilizer in the hole now, is this bad? Well. Some say that it's because the salts in the fertilizer burn the young tender roots as they're about to grow. So you're supposed to wait about a month before you add that fertilizer. And how much fertilizer will you add? Well, that's about eight ounces of 10, 10, 10. The first year, a month or so after planting, after you've had plenty of nice rains. And now here, I'm gonna shake this around make sure that there's no air pockets right we're about halfway up the roots so we're filling in these air pockets by shaking it around and then we're gonna come and pat it down okay really make sure there's no air pockets get down get down get down no air pockets please i want my fruit tree to survive Yep, what I was saying about the fertilizer, then 
in June, before the end of June, you want to add eight more ounces. And again, every year you're going to keep adding half a pound until for a semi-dwarf fruit tree, you're going to add five pounds a year total once you reach the max. And then for a regular sized tree, eventually you'll be adding 10 pounds a year of 10, 10, 10 fertilizer to each tree. Make sure we're filling in these pockets here or there. Oh, my neighbor just drove by. You know, sometimes it's so weird because I like to garden naked, but luckily I planted a bunch of pine trees, so they'll grow up soon and nobody will see my full moon. Oh, this is so fun planting. <clears throat> And remember, I said I'm avoiding adding this leftover clay, as you can see behind me, because, like I said, clay is hard for the roots to grow through. We would rather looser soil. That's a big reason why we dig such a deep hole when we plant our fruit tree. And this basin I have here, some people say you should have it. Others say that you shouldn't have it. So, I kind of go halfway. Six of one, half dozen of the other, right? So I'm filling this in here with mulch. Kind of have a basin underneath it, but then I fill it in with the mulch, and now it's level with the ground. And make sure you give your peach tree a nice watering. Make sure you yodel to your peach tree after you plant it. Yodi, odalei Ah, peaches like when you yodel. Most plants like when you yodel. That's the secret to my farm. I yodel. Not only does it keep the deer and the bear away, but for some reason the fruits like it. So, ah, look how nice this is. So relaxing being outside. Nothing like nature. You can see I'm flush with the ground level. You can see the graft union here. It's two to four inches above the soil. And my peach tree is ready to grow and provide peaches for me and eventually my family someday. That's a big reason I'm planting this stuff too. So by the time I raise a family, they'll have access to all this great fruit and good food. Because this is important. This is what families are supposed to do, grow food together. People are supposed to grow food. It satisfies your stomach and your spirit. Alrighty, friends, have a good day. <clears throat>